If I didn't have my accident, I would have never gone to college. I would have never become a physical therapist. I probably would have never started surfing. Now I feel that it was worth it. In 2004, I had a motorcycle accident. I had to be placed in a medically induced coma, and when I woke up, I was amputated above the knee on the right leg. In the hospital, I didn't know any amputees. So I imagined that my life was over. I spent a lot of time in my room. I actually had to be placed on suicide watch. It finally got to a point where I knew if I didn't go talk to somebody, I was in a lot of trouble. I work at Sharp Memorial Hospital, and this is the same hospital where I was a patient. Is there any stairs to go in at all? Yes. About how many? Uh, three. Do you have any pain right now? Um, yes. Uh, what number would you give it? About a five. Okay. One, two, three. When you're in rehab or the hospital, all you want to do is go home and just be able to try and live your life. But what you don't realize is that as soon as you go home, there's the world, there's society that's constantly reminding you what happened. When I got out of rehab, I couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't even stand and wash the dishes. You just feel so alone and so different. Surfing is like a medication. You go, you feel the way you feel, you go out surfing, you're gonna come back feeling better. I'm Betty Mikalevich krug I'm the exercise physiologist in the Navy Medical Center San Diego. I am the manager of the surf therapy program. The first time I saw Danny was sometime back there in 2008. She was very young, she was about 19. My goal with bringing people to surfing is to help them find tools to cope with whatever it is that they are coping with. You're gonna try that break right over there. What do you think? With surfing, I didn't do it before my accident. Got it. I just wanted to exert myself, to feel strong. But not being able to see anybody like you, I grew up in Jersey in a really small town. I was the only Asian kid. People bring it to your attention that you are very different. In some situations, they make it very apparent that you don't belong. Going from walking one day and being your typical 19-year-old to looking in the mirror and not having a leg and having scars all over your body. I just want to be okay to be an amputee. When we start the self-therapy program, I remember that I wasn't sure that you can even do what Danny is doing. We weren't sure you can actually stand. If you can stand, maybe you can only stand in smaller waves. It is hard to pop up with that prosthetic leg. Yes, Danny, go for it, yeah! Good, good, Danny. It's really scary for an amputee to do something like that. I'm not like the other people out there. The negative thoughts the things that are on constant repeat, 
you don't have the tools to stop it. Many times when people are dealing with medical conditions, they are focusing on everything that is wrong. Many of the people figure out what they need, as long as you're there and you're working with them to figure it out. When I was a patient at the hospital, I really had to make a decision quickly. Either I was going to end this and stop trying and give up, or I put in 100% and really try. I had to push myself. I'm realizing it's not that it's not possible. I just had to make it possible. When we started, I did not know how far can it go. Watching her progress, she kept taking it farther and farther. I was seeing major gains quickly. Surfing just gave me so much. It was clearing everything for me, just making me feel whole again. It's also making me stronger. It gave me the ability to go to college for seven years and get my doctorate in physical therapy. It was just such an amazing part of my life to be able to learn how to be myself again. I've been recognized as the first female above knee amputee surfer in the world. I have been co-captain of Team USA and one of the first to design a surf-specific prosthesis. any surfer, there's something about the salt water. It changes you. It changes everything about you. For me, I don't realize that I have a disability. And it's just such an amazing feeling to be seen. When I see a person that arrived that 
you couldn't see a smile on their face that was sad, that maybe had negative, dark thoughts about their future, and they are smiling and they are happy, then I know mission accomplished, success. Winner of the ISA World Team Championship Trophy, Team USA.